Second violin, Susie Long and Ang Lee. Ang Lee and Viola Sanika King. They participated in the Arizona All-State Orchestra three weeks ago. It puts her in the top 14 violists in the state. is given to the student who I call the poster child of works gym. Uh, the one that we could not have done without. This student, while never achieving the recognitions of being in modern orchestras, or maybe even necessarily being uh, the biggest standout on her instrument of all time, she's a student that's always been there to assist me, assist other students, and there's never a day that she's not been working hard. And I've seen it for six years. All I could think of when deciding who the poster child would be was the invaluable asset that this student has been to the GCA program this year, last year, and every year since sixth grade. So on my wall in the classroom is this perpetual plaque with names of every recipient. She will be the 10th recipient of this award. Um, and then she gets to take home her very own plaque to remember forever and ever. This award, the Pagani Award, goes to Hei Wan Hong.
segment of the concept. With my 15 seniors, this company can sit. Like them. <laughs> There's 15. I think it's the most I've ever had. These beautiful faces in front of you are walking across the stage in 20 days. Graduate from GCA. You guys can spread out. So I think we love each other. So we have a tradition, this is the fourth year of this tradition. I write the different personal superlatives as my gift to them. I've come up with these based on what I know about them, and in some cases what their, some of their friends shared with me um, about what they're like outside of my classroom. So um, I'll just kind of tell you briefly why this is their superlative and you can come and grab yours and give me a real hug. Okay. That's it. So this student, um, has been in my, has 12 of these 15 have been my students for six years. Uh, one of them for five years, and two of them for four years. Uh, this student has been mine for, for seven, six years, not seven, wow. Six years, and um, I wasn't really sure exactly what to, what superlative was right for her, but when I asked her friends to describe her, one of the first things they said was, she's very motivational. So, um, the most likely to become a motivational speaker is Brittany Vaughn. Okay, All right. <laughs> uh, this student uh, apparently loves K-pop, and um, so her super was him. <laughs> you already got to know her a little bit tonight. Uh, the most likely to actually play her instrument after tonight, and maybe in a K-pop group, is Hey Wan Kong. <laughs> always has food, I swear. She comes to my class, right after lunch. She's still eating food. It's always from someplace, not from campus. She's famous for getting boba and for using Postmates. So this student is the most likely to start her own food delivery service with herself as the only customer. <laughs> That's what it actually says. I'm the other way. Um, she's a great student. <laughs> the first thing, she was the first one I had written, and she knows that I told her. Um, this student is most memorable to me as being very passionate about injustice to her and to anybody else. She wants to make sure to have a break session every day in my class. Uh, so the most likely to have a break session on her first day at her big girl job, Shirella. <laughs> Okay, um, this one is just very friendly. People describe her as just being very social and um, just loving her. So the most likely to make the most friends for freshman year of college, Caitlin Lee. Alright, let's go to a piece player. <laughs> this is um, a great student all good students. Um, it's a bass player, if that helps. Um, and for six years, he, I, I don't think he sleeps um, at home, anyway. Um, and because he plays the bass, um, he sleeps on the bass. Like, he's got the bass. sleeping on the bass while I'm having fun. So the most likely to fall asleep his first day of college, Austin Tep. So when I asked some of his, his classmates for some help, they described him as just being um, a really active volunteer, which totally fits, but I have observed with him. And um, he's just very smart and very organized. So the most likely to start a non-profit organization is Jace Chunk. Okay. This is a 
very, very smart, hard work. Her friends described her as hard work. I asked her theater friends, by the way. You want to know who your friends are? Um, and um, she is going to do great things in the world um, once she graduates from college and moves on to the world. So the most likely to break the wage gap with her amazing work performance is Catherine Martin. All right, oh, this one. He's famous for his stories. He always has a story, almost every day. Um, for six years, he just had a story. The most likely to become a famous storyteller, famous because his stories are amazing, Michael Farrell. Yeah. All right, this one has also been a student of mine for six years. She is like the queen of debate, like the queen. I've seen her argue her way, debate her way through getting um, more privileges than other people, more times than I can get. Uh, so the, uh, the most likely to debate her way out of paying her taxes <laughs> is Amanda Sherman. <laughs> All right. Um, this one is a very studious and he's a great researcher. I was his mentor for his senior thesis this year. I, just, I learned how good he is at research and being able to articulate in an intelligent way. So this um, student is most likely to discover an epic piece of medical research. Michael Lee. amazing musician and amazing um, artist all around and so she is the mo most likely to become a famous contemporary artist and I'll have to come paint a mural in my house. Iris San Augustine. <laughs> Which, as we all know, is hard. Yeah, yeah, do. Yeah. Okay, two more. Three, two more. Um, other bass player. Um, he has great timing on being sick, like all the time. Um, he seems to always be sick right on concert, right? Oh, like two out of four times. Um, and so he must spend a lot of time in bed. So he's the most likely to watch all 22 Marvel movies in a row. <laughs> right <around. laughs> I was reminiscing with this student recently about um, what it was like when she was in seventh grade. <laughs> right, you were. And, um, she likes to make sure people know she's there, and um, she'll make sure people know that she knows the right answer. She was like this in seventh grade. She's done better, but um, but because of this, I can just see it. The first day of GCA, first day of college, it'll be the same. The most likely to have her professors know her name after the first class, Leanne Shadow. Meeting, parent booster meeting of the year is coming Tuesday, May 7th. 
And then you can see abandonment at 730. That's a little change from our usual. 7.30. You cannot continue to be successful without your help. Thank you again for supporting your children and seeing the incredible value of music has in their lives. We will finish this amazing concert with our final piece. This is called our Senior Selection. It's a piece that those 15 seniors played on a concert a few years ago, but they wanted to play one last time. It had to be their final notes that they played this year. This song is not exactly for the theme of our concert, um, but it's a really fun piece anyway. Please enjoy the Incredibles. Thank you very much.